Hi, you guys. Welcome back for our daily practice questions. As always, you know I like to first get into my introduction and disclaimer before getting started with our questions for today. So for those of you who are familiar with me, hey, y'all. For those of you who are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Dr. Brittany Weinstock. I am a family nurse practitioner, and I am the founder and CEO of The Nursing Studio. I provide resources, tools, review courses, review videos, review books, cue banks, one-on-one sessions, and more to assist nurses as well as nurse practitioners with success on their boards as well as in practice. I've been doing this since 2015, assisting nurses and nurse practitioners internationally with exam success. Now, you know I like to go over my disclaimer and reminder that we know there's no absolutes in medicine. We treat on a patient by patient basis and any of the questions that you see here, I have designed and created based on the current guidelines that are being tested on the ANCC as well as AAMP exam. Now, any of my videos where I'm teaching on things that we currently do in practice, I will always say that so there's no confusion. So with that being said, let's get into question number one for today. As we continue our antibiotic series, we are now in men's health. So let's hit question number one. The nurse practitioner has diagnosed the patient with prostatitis. What is the best first line treatment option at this time? Is it A, Keflex, B, doxycycline, C, ciprofloxacin, or D, mupirocin? Take a moment and tell me what you got in the comments, you guys. All right, you know I always recommend reading the stem of the question first as it allows you to slow down to ensure you're answering what is being asked of you. So here the stem of the question states, what is the best first line treatment option at this time? All right, so you know, I tell you if they're just asking for a treatment, take a step back and look and see if they are, if they have provided you with the diagnosis. If the diagnosis is not provided in the question, you need to take it back a step further and look at the assessment findings so that you can come up with the diagnosis because we gotta know what it is to treat it, right? Here, the diagnosis is provided and it's stated that it's prostatitis. If you're thinking of assessment findings that may have warranted for you to think that the diagnosis is prostatitis, think of it as um, things like a, a boggy prostate on a digital rectal exam. Boggy is commonly referred to on those exams um, as a key identifier for prostatitis. Next, it's asking you for that first line therapy. So first line therapy for prostatitis would be C, ciprofloxacin, okay? All right, question number two, the nurse practitioner has diagnosed the patient with epididymitis secondary to STIs. What is the best treatment at this time? Select the best two. Is it A, doxycycline, B, Bactrim, C, cephalexin, or D, rocephin? Take a moment and tell me what you got in the comments, you guys. All right, so stem of the question here states, what is the best treatment at this time? Select the best two. Now, again, this is why the stem of the question is so important because here it tells you to select the best two. Sometimes we skip over these things and you're selecting one answer and you're missing that they told you to select two and it's all, it's all or nothing. There's no almost in medicine. There's no almost on boards, okay? So what is the best treatment? Again, you're going to look and see if they provided you with a diagnosis and they have. It's epididymitis secondary to an STI and we want to select the best two that are um, the best treatment options for this, right? So your best answers are A and D. Doxycycline and rocephin are your treatment options for epididymitis when there is an STI component. Thinking about your like your chlamydia, your gonorrhea, these are um, antibiotics that we utilize to treat those, and it will help and clear and aid um, the epididymitis as the epididymis is inflamed secondary to the STI um, being the bacterial source, okay? And then lastly, question number three, the nurse practitioner has diagnosed the patient with epididymitis. STIs have um, has been ruled out. What is the best treatment? Is it A, doxycycline, B, topical metronidazole, C, ciprofloxacin, or D, topical clarithromycin? Take a moment and tell me what you got. All right, and stem the question here states, what is the best treatment? Again, look to see if they provided you with a the diagnosis. They have is epididymitis, and STIs have been ruled out. So with this, ciprofloxacin will be your best treatment option. Um, typically, those fluoroquinolone um, families are the best treatment option if the STIs are not the um, causative source, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you found this helpful. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with whomever you may think may find this beneficial as well. But y'all make sure to meet me back here. And if you would like to utilize any other resources that I offer, feel free to reach out to the nursing studio by giving us a call at 803 400 6864. You can also shoot a text message to that number. 
or shoot us an email to the nursing studio, the number one at gmail.com. The things that I do offer are my review book. You can get it in an ebook or paperback option. They're both linked in the bio of this channel. If you prefer to study independently, I do have a self-paced review course designed for family and adult GERO reviewers. It's also linked in the bio of this channel. If you're looking to do any practice questions, I have all of my QBank options linked in the bio of this channel. And if you're looking to book a one-on-one -on -one session, I always say be sure to reach out by phone or email so that we can gauge what you truly need as all one-on-one -on -one sessions are customized for the reviewer. But feel free to reach out to us. I, will look, for, I look forward to working with each of you. But as always, happy studying. Bye, y'all.